Educational art installation at Champlain College features pieces made from recycled plastic, and it's sparking conversations on campus. Our Jessica Tara explored the gallery to see what it was like. Jessica, how was it? Kat, it was quite interesting. I never saw artwork like that before, but it definitely left an impression on me as well as Champlain College students. Plastic transformed into art. What I really love about it is that it's a data visualization of the sort of consumption of plastic. This gallery at Champlain College is using art to help visualize the impact pollution has on the planet. I'm definitely somebody who tries to minimize the amount of like plastics and things that I'm using. Um, and having visuals like this where you can see it is just like such a good reminder and like wake up call of like what we need to be doing. Artist Rebecca Schwartz created the gating ground exhibit to confront various elements of climate change and the challenges to environmental sustainability. My goal is to not only show the huge, you know, increase in fossil fuel extraction, increase in plastic production, increase in temperature. When people leave the gallery, she hopes they walk away thinking about their carbon footprints. But also uh, give people a place to contemplate that and give people a place to take action because it can be paralyzing, it can feel paralyzing. From plastic mass of plankton and sea foam, Schwartz knows this isn't typical art. I just hope we can address it and the plastic installation is both um, beautiful and appealing and disgusting and challenging and unnerving. But it is leaving students passionate about trying to make a change. I think of it as just a way to bring community together um, as well as I'm a huge fan of wildlife conservation and sort of healing the human and nature relationship so any way that there can be community outreach done or creating spaces where people can talk about these issues. Schwartz friend Robin Perla says while climate change is an issue she hopes the unique work will leave a long-lasting impact. You know there's a really beautiful metaphor for um, you know, in a lot of the aesthetics that she's using in terms of kind of mimicking some of the creatures that we think of like in the ocean or, or throughout history. Um, and again, sort of by making that out of plastic and technology, it's sort of highlighting the kind of the root of the problem at the same time. You have until Wednesday at 6 p.m. to check out the gallery. We'll have more information on our website at WCAX.com. Reporting live in the studio, Jessica Tara, Channel 3 News, first at 4.